Hello and welcome to Vapor. On today's show, I'm going to show you how to make some flat twisted wire that could be turned into a coil, but literally in a twist of fate, I'm going to twist two of those together to make a flat twisted hive coil and should be pretty cool. But First things first, you're going to need a few things to accomplish this. First of all, bench vise, drill of some type, electric preferably, yes, ruler to measure your wire, some ribbon wire, a cutter, a plier, and I like to wrap mine using uh, Allen keys. So without further ado, let's get things going and dive right in. So the first step of what you want to do is to go ahead and cut yourself two 18 inch pieces of flat ribbon wire. Now that, that length can vary depending upon how big a coil you're going to make in the end. I just decided that 18 sounds like a pretty good starting point and I've gone ahead and cut two 18 inch pieces of wire making sure they're nice and flat and straight, which they are. And then next, we're gonna get our drill set up and our vise to start twisting the wire. But of course, as always, remove those dangly things because you don't want to get that stuff caught in the drill. On step two. Now the key to doing this is to keep those two wires on top of each other, perfectly flat on top of each other. That is the whole key to making this uh, wire turn out. So that that is crucial. And the next thing is putting it in your chuck or your drill. Now to keep them flat, it's got three points. So I mean, it's almost impossible to have that centered on there. So. You're going to want to put it in the relief of the chuck. Now it's going to be kind of offset, but that's about the only way I can think of to do it. So we'll put it in the chuck. Okay, got that flat. Now we got to straighten this out in the vise, keep it nice and straight, and that's about how you want it to look. So next we'll start spinning that wire. All right, let's give her a spin. Grab the macro lens just so we can check it out and see how far we've come. So that's how it's looking right now. And in my eyes, that looks like perfection, actually. Surprised how easily that turned out. So that is how you make a flat twisted wire that you can wind into a coil. But as I've said earlier, I'm going to put a little bit of a twist on this video to make a hive wire, a flat twisted hive wire. I got lined up in the chuck, I got lined up in the drill. The two wires are parallel. So let's start spinning them and see what we get. Ooh, that looks interesting. Well, I over twisted it, but that's okay. That looks like the limit of what it would handle 
and it looks like enough for one coil so let's take a look at it in the macro and see what we have using the macro we can see that is one crazy looking wire look at all the spacing on that that's going to create a lot of vapor Unfortunately though, I think with that much spacing, it might have a lot of spit back as well. But we'll wind into a coil, put it in uh, RDA, and see what she does. So that's what we'll do next, wind the coil. So today I've chosen to use a three millimeter Allen key. You line up the wire with the side right here. Press it with your thumb, good and firm. And then start twisting that wire. Alright, well, let's pop this coil in a deck and see what she does. So this crazy looking coil is ohming out at about 0 0.88, 0 0.85, somewhere in there. And um, the juice I'll be using for today is Air Factory Wild Apple. So we'll get this thing all juiced up so that we can test this bad boy out. Again, when I make these coils, it's the first time I'm ever making them, so you're going on the same misadventure I am. So, take it back up top, see what we got. So we're back up on top, and I got this thing wadded set at the old triple nickel. Let's see what she does. Mmm, got some decent clouds it's chucking. Plus, incredibly tasty. Incredibly tasty. That's like one of the tastiest coils I've ever tried. Try it again. That's incredible. That is incredible. I'm only out at 0.87. I'm only at 55.5 watts, and this thing is chucking massive clouds and massive flavor. This is very good. I'm, I'm surprised at how good that turned out. I'm really surprised. This is an amazing coil. Hmm. Thank you for joining me once again in one of my misadventures in coil building. This one was totally unexpected, especially the results. I was just so taken aback by just how much vapor production that coil made. And the flavor, I mean, I'm not exaggerating. That is the most flavorful coil I have ever tasted, much less ever built. So, I mean, it's fantastic. Do I recommend you trying to build one of those at home? Hell yes. Hell yes, you should definitely try to build them. It was, like I said in the video, it was even easier than what I thought I was going to be building it because that was the first time I've ever built that coil. So definitely if you got the materials, take a shot. I mean, what the hell, wire's pretty cheap. So if you enjoyed today's video, please smash the like button and of course subscribe to this channel and then smash the notification bell on the bottom right side of your screen. And of course, as always, you know what to do. Later, vapors.